Welcome back to the Crypto Report. I'm Black Sea, and we have another video for you guys. So today, I want to talk about Crypto.com, give an update on Tonic, and I want to talk about some NFTs and the Bitcoin price. And guys, thank you so much for all the subscribers we've been getting and all the views. I really appreciate it. We just started doing live streams. We're going to be doing live streams every Tuesday and Thursday from this point moving forward. And uh, we have all, we are almost at 5,000 subscribers. And once we reach 10,000 subscribers, we're going to be giving away $1,000 worth of Bitcoin to one of you guys. So I'm really excited for that. Subscribe because I want to give away that Bitcoin. I'm really excited about it. So let's hop into Crypto.com. So guys, we have... We're still trading in this channel. We're doing exactly what I said that we were going to be doing. We broke out of this channel. We were in this channel. We broke out of this formation inside this channel. And now, since there hasn't been any ridiculous things happening in the marketplace, we are just trading sideways. And this is kind of what I expect to happen. Something a little bit like that. Leading up until the monthly candle close of November, and then when we have a monthly close in November, I see something like maybe we'll have a more of a bigger move to the upside or to the downside, depending on what's going on with the Federal Reserve meeting in December. But when we have a monthly close, it's going to create a uh, little bit of a volatility squeeze. So be prepared for that for Crypto.com. I would like to see us... Do something like this and then have the end of the month we could have a something like that when Bitcoin closes because I could see Bitcoin closing to the upside or I should say opening the month of December to the upside maybe we can talk about a little bit of a Santa Claus rally you know I remember every every November is when the talk of Santa Claus rally starts happening and usually Santa Claus rallies happen but um, you know guys uh, the uh, <laughs> The macroeconomics are not that nice and haven't been that nice for the past couple of years. And, you know, I wouldn't be surprised if we don't have a nice Santa Claus rally for equities. But um, at the same time, I wouldn't be surprised if we would have one. Uh, but I would like to lean towards more caution. I'm not as confident that we're going to have a Santa Claus rally as I would have a few years ago. So keep that in mind. When we when Bitcoin is closing and opening into December, but I am prepared for a green month in December. So let's talk about Tectonic. So I like to give a little update on Tectonic for you guys because I know that some of you guys like to hold Tectonic and trade it. We are still in this big channel here. It is a very large channel. We broke down. It's it doesn't look pretty. Let's be honest here. It doesn't look pretty, but we are still trading inside this channel. We haven't broken underneath this. As long as we don't break underneath the 709, we'll be A-OK. -okay. Um, we're just trading, guys. We're trading between this channel. We're trying to find the bottom, um, which was right here when we capitulated down from the whole FTX debacle and um, when the FUD spread to Crypto.com for no reason at all. This is what we got right here. And now we're trying to find our, our way back here because usually bottoms don't just happen with one wick and then just bounce straight up that that usually doesn't happen like that usually it's what you're seeing right here we we wick down we get a bounce up and then we try to find the bottom we slowly over time trade down to the side until we find a bottom and then we start to build back up it usually is not one swift motion and then just a straight v it's a very it's a there's very specific criteria for that to happen and quite frankly I don't think we're quite there. I mean, let's look at Bitcoin. So, Bitcoin has capitulated down. Let me move that back. Okay, there we go. Bitcoin has capitulated down, and we're not going to just see a launch back up. I don't really see that happening. I think we're going to be trading sideways. But I do think that we could probably break back into this triangle formation um, when we have a monthly close. And when the Federal Reserve... Uh, pivots towards a 0.5 basis rate point hike because now the talk of the town is that uh, the 0.75 is expected but you know there's been a lot of dovish talk but i will say that 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 does it wouldn't be the first time that we've been hearing a lot of dovish talk but um if we do have a 0.5 basis rate point hike we, that, that is bullish. That's dovish and it's bullish. And I think it's bullish for risk on assets. So keep that in mind. But I want to talk a little bit about NFTs, guys. Yesterday, I spent the majority of the day just 
buying <laughs> and trading dinosaur NFTs. I think this is incredible. <laughs> these claynosaurs. Tell me what you guys think about these. I, I think they're it's really crazy diving into this NFT ecosystem. I've been talking about lately how if Kronos, if the Kronos ecosystem can replicate anything similar to the Solana NFT ecosystem, Kronos would be absolutely massive. Like, Solana doesn't even have, like, a competitor when it comes to NFTs. I know you'll say, well, what about Ethereum, Black Sea? Well, Ethereum is way more clunky when it comes to trading NFTs, minting NFTs. There's a way higher price tag on all of them. There's a much higher barrier to entry. And you can't really flip the NFTs. Solana is so good because the trading fees, the gas fees, are pennies fractions of pennies guys it's actually incredible it's incredible and you know and i'll i'll uh, i'll say chronos their gas fees are extremely cheap it's the same on the same wavelength wavelength as solana and i'm super bullish about that so i'm saying you know if chronos can replicate this at all the solana nft ecosystem it would be absolutely massive for chronos and crypto.com it would be massive but uh, yeah, guys, give me a comment in the comment section down below which one's your favorite. I made uh, this guy my profile picture over on my Black Sea Twitter. <laughs> I, he's so goofy. They're all so goofy. I, I love them. It's, it's pretty hilarious. But um, I, I've been just diving deeper and deeper into NFTs. Uh, let me know um, if you think I should be getting some more Loaded Lions or if I should get any or how many. Let me know in the comment section below because I've been thinking a lot about it, just playing around in the Solana ecosystem. But um yeah, guys, I mean, overall for today, we're having a kind of a recovery uh, in the market. Nothing crazy. Bitcoin's up about 2%, 1.5%. Um, Solana is up, and Crow is doing its thing. Let's see what Crow is doing over here. I mean, like, yeah, we're having a tiny, tiny pump here. Let's measure this out. From the bottom here. Yeah, we're doing pretty good. It's just, it's just a 3% pump. Like I said, the volatility is going to be very, very slim. But let's point out something here over on Market Cipher. We are getting a green dot here on the 4-hour lead, which is pretty bullish. So, you know, keep in mind, guys, um, if you want to enter a long position, hop over to Femex. Go down below. We have a link, a referral link for it. If you click it, uh, sign up and deposit you can have up to a – or you have to open a trade, and you can have up to $4,100 worth uh, in free money. It's free money. It's, pr it's pretty awesome, guys. So if you want to do that, feel free to click that link. And, guys, please, if you stuck around this far, please like and subscribe. Crypto Kip and I really want to give away that $1,000 worth of Bitcoin. We're, at, we're almost at 5,000 subscribers. When we reach 10,000, we'll be giving even that away. So, guys, thank you so much for staying around. We'll see you in the live stream later tonight. Bye.